If you want to grow a lot of tomatoes without spending a lot of money on the trellising, then this video is for you. This is the cheapest and easiest way to stake your tomatoes. Good morning and welcome to Wholesome Roots. I'm Rose and I'm here for another round of tomato tips. Today I'm going to show you how to stake your tomatoes in an affordable and easy way. Yeah, I know there's lots of tomato staking videos out there on YouTube, but a lot of them are based around ways that are frankly quite expensive for somebody like me. If you want to grow a lot of tomatoes without spending a lot of money on the trellising, then this video is for you. Now don't get me wrong, the cattle panel trellising of tomatoes is a beautiful finished product for sure, but here in our area, cattle panels cost $88. Plus, something I continuously see a lot of people have issues with is how to get them home. Lots of people don't have a way to transport them once they buy them from the store. Cattle panel trellis is, is definitely a good way to go. But then the other side of the coin is how easy. If you are working in the garden by yourself, installing a cattle panel trellis might prove to be difficult. So I'm gonna show you some easy ways that I trellis my tomatoes that are easy for me to do by myself and extremely affordable. We like to do cheap gardening around here. Saving money where we can is definitely something we appreciate and try to do as often as possible. Also, some of the ways that I'm going to show you to stake tomatoes is actually going to save you on space. You're going to have more room to plant more tomatoes this way. So let's get started. All you need to stake your tomatoes are some simple, basic, cheap supplies. Whether you're using the classic tomato cage that only costs under $3, staking them with sticks or bamboo poles or even plastic poles with the help of some twine even if it has to be your used hay twine that's fine and the other method i'm going to show you is using these t-posts to create a florida weave this is easy and affordable so i'm going to start out with the classic tomato cage now the tomato cage is very affordable it's under three dollars and it does the job pretty well the only drawback to using the tomato cage is the weight of the tomato sometimes gets to be too much and you might need to add a stick to help support the weight so it doesn't fall over the top of the tomato cage is much shorter than most tomatoes become but that's not a problem to me at all i just let them grow over the top and hang down beautiful fruit is formed that way Staking your tomatoes with a tomato cage is extremely easy to install. You don't need anybody's help. You want to do it while they're still young so that the branches aren't too big where you're going to scrape up the stems. You just place the center of the plant in between the three prongs. You slide it down gently, not brushing the branches too much. Pulling them loose if they catch. You're going to want to position each of the footings evenly spaced around the bottom stem and begin pressing down. As you press down, make sure any of the top stems don't get bent. Press down. You want this bottom part of the trellis to go as deep as your soil will let you. Unless you live in a place that's really soft soil, I suppose. I'm used to living in Georgia soils where it's not very far down. So once you have it nice and secure, it's nice and tightly in the ground, you want to adjust any leaves so that they're sitting on top of the ring. You are gonna eventually prune off anything below that bottom ring anyway. So you're gonna wanna bring any branches that come out of the ring up inside the ring as it grows. You can check on it every couple of days. Just make sure that the growth is staying internally and not leaving the ring. It's pretty easy. You can also use string to tie these up if you want to but I usually don't have to. Usually just putting the tomato cages on, occasionally adding a support stake, and that's about it. Pretty easy, right? I mean, this is easy and affordable. We're talking less than $3 a plant. Whereas where the cattle panel, what do you get? 
four plants out of a cattle panel and the cattle panel's $88 for me with the number of tomato plants that I do and trying to stay affordable and cheap part of being sustainable is to keep my costs down so I really like this low-cost way of staking tomatoes All right, this second method is actually probably the cheapest and easiest to do. All it involves is a stick and some string. I'm literally just going to stick a stick into the ground right at the main stem, and I'm gonna tie my tomato to the stick. This is very effective if you don't have a lot of high winds. It can become top heavy for a tomato plant, but it usually withstands most normal conditions. You can use a bamboo stake like I'm using and jute twine if you like, or you can use hay string and a stick you cut off of a branch in your yard. It really doesn't matter. This is the cheapest and easiest way to stake your tomatoes. So I'm going to come in nice and snug close to the st main stem and I'm gonna push. I am pushing through some roots and damaging a little bit of root system. But if you do this earlier in the growing season, the better. And then once I have my stick as deep and tight as I can get it, all I'm gonna do is take some of my twine and tie the main stem gently and carefully. I don't wanna rub it raw, but I want it to stay attached to the stick as it grows. So I am gonna to have to add string along the way as the plant continues to grow I will add more strings to keep them sturdy and some of the branches may have to be separately tied so this tomato plant branch is right here so I'm going to tie this branch first onto the stake and then I'm going to tie this branch a little bit further up and I'm going to give it a little bit more give so that it can not be sandwiched right on top of each other I can leave my string looser for more room for the plant to grow. Voila, it's not fancy, it's not cute, but it is definitely effective. And being effective is all we really need to grow some tomato plants. See, there's nothing to it. Quite simple and easy to do. But you can see it's quite easy to install. All right, so the next method I'm going to show you is called the Florida Weave. This works really good when you have your tomatoes planted in a straight row. So if you're doing a nice long straight row, I recommend this as my favorite method probably of all the three that I'm showing you today. I'm just gonna put two T-posts in the ground. These T-posts do not have to be in perfect condition. They can be used. They can be the cheapest ones they have at the store. You can even use some sturdy stakes. Uh, I do recommend something heavier than a bamboo stake for this because it's gonna be holding the weight of all five of these tomato plants with a little bit of help from some string. As far as the string goes, I prefer to use jute twine or hemp string, even cotton string, anything that's biodegradable so that it can be thrown in the compost when I'm done with it. Plus, I find that they're easier on the stem of the tomato and don't rub them and create as much injury as some other strings made out of polyester might. So this method is really easy and it's widely used in lots of different commercial tomato growing operations. So I think it'll really help you out. So then, once I have my T-posts in place, I'm ready to begin stringing the tomatoes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out really low on the T-posts, all the way at the bottom, and I'm going to tie a string off, and I'm gonna go in front of one tomato, behind the next, in front of one, behind, weaving them through till I get to the end pole, pulling it nice and tight and tying it off. Then I'm gonna go a little bit higher on the plant and I'm gonna do that again, going in the opposite direction of that weave. It's like making a basket. <laughs> So 
So these tomatoes are just tall enough for two strings right now. I will add another string as the main trunk gets taller. But you can see it's quite easy to install. When I'm running my string in and around each plant, I do try to position it so that it's right where a stem or a lateral branch is to help support itself and lean against something a little more sturdy than just if I had put it down here and it had nothing to go against. This kind of helps keep it from sliding around. You'll also notice that the lateral branches that are not going to be kept on this plant have not been included in the trellis. This is going to be one of the lateral branches I will remove. Whereas this lateral branch is going to stay. So my next string will actually go over this one. Well, there you have it. Some cheap, affordable ways to stake your tomatoes that are super easy and won't cost you a fortune. And I happen to think that they still look pretty darn great. If you're looking forward to more tomato tips in the future, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and continue watching how these tomatoes grow. I will continue to show you during my garden tours how these tomatoes are doing and how the staking has worked out for us. So if you're curious, follow along. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Wholesome Roots.